Yo, what is going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston here. Today I'm back for episode number 35 of my Brooklyn Nets My League series here on NBA 2K16. So today we're taking on the Orlando Magic. Uh, I talked about in the last episode how the original episode number 34 footage got uh, lost or got deleted or corrupted or whatever. Um, also, I had to point this out. Look at what Jaleel Okafor is doing this season. He's putting up 25 and 17. That is effing absurd. But anyway, um, we're taking on the Orlando Magic. I only skipped about two games after the last episode because I kind of wanted to make up for the original episode 34 footage being lost and I don't want to get too far ahead in terms of breezing through the regular season because this is going to be an important regular season for us. Playoff seating is definitely going to matter. But like I said, we were taking on the Orlando Magic and this is going to be a battle for first place in the East. Both teams enter the game atop the Eastern Conference, or at least tied atop the Eastern Conference with records of 19 and 2. So here we go. Game is underway. It's Vucevic picking up the rebound there. Jason Tatum, nice bounce pass to Mario Hazonia and Hazonia is going to get the tough layup to go. So Orlando gets that to a 2-0 lead. Now pick and roll with Derek Favors. Good extra pass to Lopez there and Lopez is going to knock down the baseline jumper. So we knock the game back up at 2. Now it's a 1 point lead for Orlando. Hazonia driving. He gets blocked but the block goes right to the hands of Jason Tatum who's wide open from deep and Tatum knocks down the three-pointer to put the Orlando Magic up by four now take a look at the not even really a pick and pop there but Lopez just left alone he had the jumper working early so we went to him a lot in this first quarter we also went to Derek Favors a little bit in this first quarter he blows right by his man Frank Kaminsky getting to the basket with the two-handed slam now it's a 10-9 leader early for Orlando Hazonia with the ball finding his man Aaron Gordon nice pass down low to Jason Tatum and Tatum gets the tough layup to go now a three-point lead Rodney Hood misses the dunk but Favors gets the offensive rebound trying to go to work in the post bullies his man down into the paint and gets the easy layup to go right there now a three-point lead for Orlando still pick and roll coming up pick and pop actually as it's Kaminsky open for the baseline jumper he gets that one to go and Orlando extends their lead to five now it is 18 to 12 Ray McCollum with the ball finding Mike Scott for the long two that one is good so our offense kind of struggling early so far only 14 points about three quarters of the way through this quarter nice block by Simple Lar but offensive rebounds continue to be a problem for us as it's James Young there knocking down the open jumper now Bolar trying to make the extra pass to Scott one more to Rodney Hood in the corner but Hood did not have it clicking early in this game he misses the open three we're still stuck at just 14 points now it's Lonzo Ball the former net getting to the basket there with a the tough left-handed layup as he the, our old backup point guard besting our new backup point guard Ray McCollum on that play so it's a nine point lead for Orlando Kent Bazemore top of the key with the long two he gets that one to go we get the lead down to seven and that would be the score at the end of the first quarter 24 to 17 Orlando on top now early second quarter it is Chris Miles trying to get something going here going around his man to the basket but can't get the contact layup to go Kaminsky with a good defense now next possession for the Orlando Magic it's Alfred Payton finding Vucevic extra pass down low to Kid Gilchrist his jumper is good so the Magic extend their lead to nine as their defense continues to stifle our offense it is Bledsoe trying to make something happen now little pick and roll favors favors with the two in its land posterizing look like Frank Kaminsky right there so we make it a five-point game now Hazonia with the three that one is good coming off the screen right there as he is heating up now nine points already in this ball game Rodney Hood trying to go to the basket up fakes he's looking for someone trailing it's Chris Middleton in the corner and he gets the three to go we get the lead back down to six answering back with a three of our own but on the other end of the floor it is Jason Tatum to the basket tough layup gets it to go they go back up by eight now about midway through the second quarter it's still an eight point game Tatum with the ball dribble moves on Eric Bledsoe gets around him and the tough little floater I was very impressed with the way Jason Tatum played today he is uh, a very impressive player for this Orlando Magic squad now it is Mike Scott pulling up at the end of the shot clock that was pretty much where our offense was at we could not get open shots we uh, had to rely on a little bit of luck there from the likes of Mike Scott. But take a look at the alley-oop. Lonzo Ball finding Michael Kidd Gilchrist cutting back door. 41-31 is the score. Now it's McCollum looking for the screen from Chris McCullough. And McCullough is going to get to the basket. Two-handed slam. That would give us just our 32nd and 33rd points of the evening now. As it is Mike Scott on the rebound. Chris Miles running the break. He's going to find Kent Bazemore. But look at Bazemore missing the layup. That was pretty much the story of the first half. We couldn't get anything to go. Now James Young collecting his own offensive rebound. Kidd Gilchrist, he's going to to find the extra pass actually it's going to be Lonzo Ball finding the extra pass to Kevin Looney in the corner Looney gets the three ball to go so it's 44 to 36 now we're running a little pick and roll action here but 
The uh, defender of Bazemore helped off to try and cover the roll from Mike Scott. That left Bazemore open in the corner. Now final seconds of the second quarter. It is Chris Miles. Desperation three gets it to go. So a quick little 6-0 run to end off the half thanks to a pair of threes. Got the lead down to five at the end of the first half. So a little bit of life here from the Nets, but just too many turnovers in that first half. You can see Orlando had five steals, and I want to say we had probably six or seven turnovers in that first half. The offense just could not do anything, only 50% from the line. Didn't really shoot that much better from the floor, and uh, actually probably didn't shoot better at all from the floor. He probably shot significantly less than that from the floor. But it's Bledsoe in the corner, and now we finally take the lead, 47-46, some life. Here we go, a little bit of momentum from us. It's Tatum, though, answering back with a jumper of his own. The Orlando Magic go back up by one. A back-and-forth game would ensue here in the third quarter 50 to 48 at least early in this third quarter we'll see if one team is going to try and make a run here though it is going to be Hazonia with a jumper that one is good nice find by Tatum the Magic go back up by two scores here 52 to 48 now extra pass to Middleton in the corner great find by Favors and Middleton gets to go Excellent ball movement by Brooklyn. Now it's a one-point lead. Bular with the block, but it is Josh McRoberts coming up with it. Finds Tatum, and I don't know how Tatum got open there. That was just some really bad defense by Brooklyn. So it's a four-point lead now for Orlando. Doug Mann tries to go cross-court there, but it's intercepted by Kid Gilchrist. He's going to take this one all the way to the hoop with the right-handed layup, and that's going to put Orlando up by six. Now it is Rodney Hood with the open jumper, but he just could not get anything going all game long. Now, here we come down the floor once again, still down by six. Hood, another attempt, but he could not get it to go this time. Boulard is on the offensive rebound. He is going to try and put this one back up, but no finish right there. We just could not do anything offensively. Now it is Kent Bazemore trying to get something going on the break. He's going to find Boulard. That is going to be an easy two handed flush. So we get it back down to four, hanging in this ballgame right now despite our offensive woes. But Orlando is still in the lead, and it's Josh McRoberts for three. That puts Orlando up by nine. Now, late in the third quarter, desperation three from Hood and he finally gets it to go his first points of the game took a while but he got into the box score there with that three pointer at the end of the quarter so we get it to a six point game here at the end of three like I said hanging around but really not playing all that well Orlando certainly outplaying us I think at this point we're pretty lucky to only be down by six now it is Aaron Gordon for three didn't know he had that kind of range I guess he might have developed it over the years but here we go Lopez with the ball trying to do something he's going to find Bledsoe getting to the basket right handed layup is good so we stay within six now 72-66 it's Bledsoe a chance to get us within four favors has the mismatch he's going to just dunk it right on top of Alfred Payton and we get it to a four point game now still a four point game Lopez outlet pass to Chris Miles chance to get it to two it's Miles to the basket and he somehow makes that layup good so we make it a two point game now next possession for the Orlando Magic under six minutes to play it's Tatum getting to the basket two handed slam and that is going to make it a four point game once again now five minutes or so to play it's favors extra pass to Middleton in the corner he's been hot today and he continues his third three of the afternoon that makes it a one point game now still a one point game a missed layup from Chris Miles ensuing drive for the or ensuing possession for the magic it's his Zonia to the basket and the magic go back up by three miles open jumper no good rebounded by Peyton here they come on the fast break pass up to Tatum he's gonna take it himself tough layup is good and that makes it a five-point lead now as you can see miles just seven points on ten shots so far tonight he really struggled it is Lopez now trying to answer back up fakes and gets it to go we get it down to three Next possession for Orlando. How will they respond? It's Tatum. Little pick and roll action. Getting to the basket. Floater is good. He continued to kill us through all four quarters today. Like I said, very impressed for such a young player. He had quite the offensive poise and uh, really did a lot so far. Lopez gets to the line here, but he is going to actually miss both free throws. Two big misses by a usually very sure-handed free throw shooter in Brook Lopez. Pick and roll now favors. Extra pass to Lopez. Two-handed slam. Gets it back to a three-point game with just over a minute to play. Now next possession for Orlando. Can we get a stop? We desperately need one. It's Vucevic in the post. Spins around and gets the bang shot to go. We just could not get the stops when we needed them. Our defense played relatively well today. And then Lopez misses the open jumper. Now here come the magic on the next time down. A basket here would pretty much be the dagger. It's Vucevic, and he hits the dagger, making it a three-score game with 45 seconds to play. One final desperation three from Miles. No good. Rebounded by Hizonia, and that would pretty much do it. Peyton is going to ice things off with the assist to Michael Kidd-Gilchrist, making it a nine-point game, and that is going to be the final score, 90-81. to 81. Orlando. I really thought we were going to win this game. I think Orlando's a pretty good matchup for us just because I think our defense can really stifle their attack, but... Man, our offensive woe is continuing to be a problem, not only in the simulation, but now they have kind of trickled over into the actual game. I think, you know, we might just be too a little bit too reliant on a guy like Chris Miles. I really tried to go to Lopez late in the game because Miles just did not have it going. 
But Miles is such a young player when he has off nights, you know, or I should say he's going to have off nights. We really just can't expect him to, you know, drop 20 for us every night. He's not yet going to be an elite scorer. We didn't get anything from Bledsoe this game. I think that is one of the reasons why Orlando is actually a bad matchup for us is because Alfred, is because Alfred Payton can do, uh, you know, do his work defensively on Eric Bledsoe. And, you know, even with Favors giving us 17, we still only scored 81 Many points. That is pretty good. So, anyway, that is going to do it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks for watching, the, uh, and enjoy the 2K postgame show. From our Jordan player of the game. He's not always known to make the big headlines or get a lot of media attention, but he does make the big plays, and he made them throughout this one. Well, he reminded us all of how dangerous he is as a slasher. He drove the lane time and time again and got points inside to show for it. An explosive, hard-charging performance. I love it. Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels, Only there too many levels to talk about. Man, in some game, he's in the background, he doesn't get the chance to be the star of the show, but not tonight, he's the star tonight. Put him on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Have a good evening.